Hi, welcome back to Crafting a Country Life. I'm coming on to share um, two collections that actually arrived in the mail, things that I had ordered. They actually both came in today. So I thought I would just jump on and, and share these uh, quickly with you. The first item that I, or, or set of items that I ordered was um, the new collection by Prima. And this is a Frank Garcia collection. Uh, called Strawberry Milkshake, and people on YouTube that are doing paper crafting have, have been ordering this, and they're starting to get their orders in as well. So um, I'm going to go ahead and share what this collection look like, looks like. However, if you've seen it or you're not really interested in it, please feel free to just go ahead and scroll past. The second uh, collection that I'm going to share with you is a Rosie Studio collection called You Make My Day. And it's um, a crafting themed collection that's absolutely beautiful. So I will share that one after I share the strawberry milkshake. So when I went online to search for this particular collection, uh, some of the different online sites were sold out of many of the, of the components. So I went on to Cherry on Top and they had a pre-order and they had almost all of the materials or uh, products available for pre-order. So I thought, you know what, that's what I'm going to do. I'll just put everything together in one order instead of trying to piecemeal it from different uh, websites. And you know, the shipping always gets to be a little bit expensive when you do it that way. So I thought this would work. Plus, with Cherry on Top, even though it was a pre-order, um, I received a July 4th discount. I ordered, I think it was on July 2nd or July 4th. It was that weekend that I placed the order and they had 20% off everything in stock. So I went ahead and did that. Plus, I also had some points available. Um, when you shop there, you know, if you're a, a regular customer, you can earn points for your purchases. So I applied my points and got an additional savings, which I felt was really nice. They also have um, a promotion for free shipping. Um, if you spend over $49, you can get free shipping. You can't use the free shipping in combination with another promotion like the 20% off, I still have to pay my shipping, but I still actually saved more than I would have spent on the shipping otherwise. So it all worked out fine. Um, so what I, what I got for this collection is the six by six paper pad. Okay. And it's so, so lovely. And of course with the strawberry theme, that's kind of popular right now, the colors are just absolutely stunning pink, red, a little bit of gray, a little bit of pale blue. And there are some um, elements in here that are turn of the century, vintage, uh, early 1900s elements. And then there are some 1950s and 60s elements like this little girl sitting at the desk here. You can see her. And I don't know if, if any of you are familiar with the Holly Hobby dolls. Those were very popular in the 1970s. And this little gal here um, reminds me very much of the Holly Hobby dolls. So that's kind of a 1970s element there. And there are five sheets of each. The backs, they're double-sided, so the backs are also very attractive. Um, and here's the second set of pages and the back on the first set there. Or the second set. Oh, maybe that's the third. Third set. Okay. And this little gal, this is a 1950s kind of image here. She's just adorable, all in pink and red. So this is a fun collage page. Okay, here's the little Holly Hobby doll. These are great. You know, even the pages that have like a, like a center where you might use to glue on photographs and such, I, I don't do that myself, but I do like to use the plain colors sometimes when I'm doing die cutting and other things. And of course the edges are always, you can always fussy cut them or use them, um, you know, when you're collaging. Nice tab. There's a, like a pale pink back on this with some little black speckles. All right, and then the next set here, here's the back of it. It's like a brick wall, okay. And then some more images. These are great little cut aparts that are just adorable. Love this little bird. You see the little bird there? And the books with the strawberries on them. Oh, the images are so pretty. And then here's sort of an all over design with strawberries and a sage green leaf, um, wreath. Okay, and here's the back with some more strawberries. Okay, and 
then this set of tags is absolutely adorable. Bring this in close if I can. I don't know if that's focusing too well. But yeah, they have a nice assortment of um, time periods on some of these images, which is fun. And then you can pick and choose what you'd like to use. The back has like a chevron in like a raspberry color, not a deep red, but more of a raspberry red. Okay, and then this set of cut aparts is also really, really pretty. You can see some turn of the century. And then there's like a modern, like a photograph here of some strawberry milkshake. 1950s little faces down on the bottom. So, so cute. Okay, and then the last page here. Oh, here's the back with sort of a marbly swirly effect. And then the last page here, which looks like a ledger. And then there's that Holly Hobby image at the bottom. Really, really cute. And there's the back with a large polka dot in pink. So that is the six by six. The eight by eight is pretty much the same thing. So I won't share that with you, but, uh, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it is eight by eight, eight by eight size. So I picked up both sizes. I didn't want to get the big pad. I have so many Prima collections that I need to start using some of them. So I tried to be a little good <laughs> when I placed this order. I did get the journaling cards, uh, 15 designs. Some of these are repetitive from um, the other, whoops, the other paper pads. Um, but some of them are also larger, which these would be great for tags, larger size tags. Um, personally, I prefer the journaling cards that have images on them rather than overall patterns. And some of, like this is kind of a repeat of what's already in the, uh, the six by six and the eight by eight. So to me, that's, I don't know, they should have put something else in there in my estimation. Okay, this is pretty with the roses and the strawberries. There's that adorable little girl at the desk with a pink background, and this looks like a pale brown type. Okay, this to me isn't really much of anything. I would pre preferred an image that could be used as a sentiment or something, but then there's the milkshakes. This is really pretty. The strawberries with the Victorian ladies and the Victorian ladies' hands. And the back side is, most of the back sides of these are all the, the swirly effect. This is pretty, Strawberry Fields Forever. A sentiment page. Teacup and strawberries. This is pretty too. And I love these little faces. This is one of my favorite images. And I think this is the last one here. Oh, one more. Be the sunshine when you can't find the sun really pretty. So those are the journaling cards. And then I picked up one package of each type of, of um, puffy stickers. There's a set of strawberries. And I'll probably be using these for um, other projects that are not necessarily strawberry milkshake. I mean, these are pretty versatile. And then these little assorted puffy stickers here. Here's the chipboard set. I don't know, these seem to be a little bit smaller. I don't know, than some chipboard sets, but they're really very pretty. Little fox, a vase of um, roses, a little strawberry milkshake container. So really cute, really, really cute images. So it's double-sided. And then I picked up the mold, and this has, hopefully you can see, this is what it will make. It's a strawberry, a flower, a smaller strawberry, a larger flower, a set of teacups, a butterfly, and a um, typewriter. And I, you know, I don't typically buy the molds, but I really think what I want to do with this is after I mold these, I'm going to um, gild them with some gold paint like this, and then maybe put some um, antiquing stain over them as well. So we'll see how they come out. I'm interested to, to try playing with that a little bit. Okay, and then the last thing is two packages of ephemera that go with the collection. There's a, the, the first set here has 52 pieces. And I'm just going to show you what the back looks like because there's, you know, really, you can even visit um, the Prima website to see these up close, you know, if you're really interested. But they are really, really, really pretty. 52 of them in that package. And then this one is a 40, set of 44. And the images that are enclosed are these here. Yeah. 
Just some tags, some journaling cards, a few other little images. Okay, so that is that collection. They, oh, they also sent me a freebie. This is the frames and tags from uh, Market Day, I believe. Does it say on the back? Frames and tags. Flower, oh, Flower Market. Maybe it's the Flower Market collection. I'm only guessing because it doesn't really say. It's Echo Park. Um, yeah, so these will come in handy with some of the other collections that I have. They'll match quite nicely. And that was a freebie, which is nice. Okay, so there's that first collection. And then this collection I ordered about a month ago from Rosie's Studio. If you're not familiar with them, I personally love their collections. They're generally all very soft pastels, which I totally, totally am in love with. Uh, and this collection is called You Make My Day. And I think of all of the crafting themed collections that I have, and I have a, a several of them, you know, from Simple Stories, Doodlebug, um, there's a couple of other ones in my stash as well. This is probably my favorite. And I, when I saw this on the Rosie Studio website, I just said, no, that has to come home to me. Um, again, the soft pastels. And here are different people knitting. <laughs> just think this is adorable. And it's on a pale uh, grid background. So this is the 12 by 12 pack. They're single-sided card stocks. Here's a beautiful blue. I don't know if it shows up that well on camera, but it looks like knit stitches. Oh, that's a little hard to see. And that's the second one. And then this I absolutely adore. It's a set uh, sets of um, sewing pins with a mint background and all of the pastel colored pins arranged on the little cardboard wheels. And I'm a sewer, so you know I relate to a lot of these. <laughs> papers. This lavender, and I'm not really a lavender person, but this lavender is absolutely so pretty. It's very soft, but not too pale. Oh, and this will make a great background, I think, even for some pretty little crafting cards, crafting themed cards. I love this one as well, with the pale pink background. And this is a very cool pink. You'll see the sweaters and the knitting, a little bit of soft orange in the knitted socks and yarn. There's a little bit of powder blue in here, a little bit of green. Absolutely love this background. Love, love, love that. And then this with the aqua. This looks like hand stitching going across the paper. So that'll be fun to try. And these look like machine bobbins. Go in your sewing machine, all different colors. Really fun. And then this is... Um, a seamstress's cutting mat. This is actually the color of my cutting mat <laughs> that I have on my on my work table here. So that's a fun one. Sort of in a medium green. And this is all embroidery motifs. There's embroidery thread, little needles and pins, thimbles, uh, safety pins, little embroidery hoops with stitching on them, pencils. Oh, I just am in love with this collection really love it so so pretty and this is sort of a slate blue background with some tiny pink and white flowers so that's a nice dark contrast to go with some of the lighter colors this has a leaf with some gold foiling leaf design and pastel colors and they almost look like this the leaves are stitched I don't know if I can bring that in closer does that help yeah this is really pretty and then this absolutely beautiful, that cool pale pink. It's not quite lavender, more on the pink side, but just so, so pretty. It's just a dot. And then this I absolutely love. Tiny little pink flowers with little, looks like it might be black or navy blue greenery. Love that print. Little ditzy floral. This is a Sashko stitching, Japanese Sashko, for those of you who are familiar with that type of Japanese stitching. So pretty. And that kind of medium slate blue. And this page of pastel colored sewing machines. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that not so pretty? 
Oh, I just love this. And these machines, actually, they remind me of the sewing machine that my mother had when, when I was growing up. It was an old Necky. The one that she had was a Necky, N-E-C-C-H-I. She had it for years. Made all of our little doll clothes on it. She sewed, you know, all kinds of things for us when we were little. Dresses and toys and, yeah. So, a little trip down memory lane there. <laughs> All right, and here's just a, a beautiful warm pink background with a white sprig. And then this pretty mustard background floral. This reminds me of some of the Maggie Holmes color combinations. Yeah, so pretty. And then this pretty, very pale, whoops, sorry, I just bumped my, bumped my camera. Pale uh, check here. And then this is like stitched. I mean, some of these just look like fabrics, don't they? This is like cross stitching on a mint background, little white crosses. So pretty. Yeah. And then this adorable, very tiny pink sprig with little leaves. Oh, I just love this. Love this collection. So those are the 12 by 12s, and they come, you know, in a set. I ordered that. Put those around this way. Put that off to the side. Okay, and then the next items that I ordered for this collection were, um, I ordered two of these. These are the puffy stickers. Look at these. They are just adorable. Knitting needles, a little kitty in a basket of yarn, a tiny little puffy crochet granny square, yarn and scissors. Here's the little knitter down on the bottom. The sweater, the coffee cup. <laughs> Look at these little puffy um, tape measures, embroidery hoop, dress form. Oh gosh, I ordered two because um, Rosie's studio. It took me. It took a month for these to arrive, so I thought, well, I better pick up two. And the prices really are quite, quite reasonable um, on her pro on their their products. Okay, this is a cardstock sticker pack. There are four sheets. Okay, and you can kind of see the size of these. Oh, just adorable. Wouldn't these look pretty on the uh, flap of an envelope? Really pretty. And these are the four sheets that are included inside. Well, you know, I don't know. These I could probably take out. Let me take these out for you. So you can see the full size. Okay, so here's that first sheet. Okay, here's the second sheet. These are all sentiments. Oh, there's even at the top the little buttons. You make my day. You are pinned to my heart. Creating is your superpower. Good friends. Made for each other. All kinds of great little sentiments in pretty pastel colors. Here's another sheet. Crafter. Do what you love. Let's stay home. <laughs> little heart. Little stuffed bunny somebody made. Oh, these are adorable. And then the fourth sheet here. And these have lots of nice sentiments. So with the flow. <laughs> Craftiness is free. Sprinkle it everywhere. Oh, happy day. You are the person that makes my day. Really cute. Really, really cute. So those are the sticker sheets. And then two packs of ephemera. And these, I'm not going to take these out. I'll, I'll flip the top up so that you can see what's inside. Now, these come with 148 pieces. Okay, here they are. There's really a very nice selection of different things here. The little, I love these little granny squares. Love that. So there's lots of tags. These little circle embellishments. These would be adorable on rosettes. Lots of sentiments little bits and bobs. And then this other one here, this has 216 pieces in it. And these are, it looks like there's a lot of florals in this one here, mostly up in this area. You can see the different ones. There's some yarn balls there, little um, birds, embroidery floss threads, pins, little, little signs, little set of pins on a wheel there, needles. Really, really nice assortment of goodies to play with. Okay, a couple more things. This is the six by six, six 
size pad, which I also ordered, and it's the same as the large uh, size. It has the same images inside, so I won't flip through that. And I picked up a couple of chipboards, and you can see it's sort of a small size, but it's double-sided. Um, and these are also really adorable. There's a little weaving, sewing box, sweater, sewing machine, some scissors and embroidery floss, and some more images on the, there's more of those adorable granny squares, embroidery hoops, buttons, rainbows. Yeah, really, really cute. And then I purchased the stamping sentiments as well. And th there's a good selection of them here. So happy it's your birthday. Uh, may your day be filled with all the good things. In the quilt of life, friends are the stitches that hold it together. These are adorable. Sending handcrafted hugs and hello. So, S-E-W, so lovely, sweet, and wonderful. Live more, laugh more, create more. Thanks, you made my day. Friendship is sewn with love and measured by kindness. Yeah, so these will be these will be fun to use as well. Okay, and I think that's everything. Yes, that is it. So those are the two collections that came in this week. I can't wait to get started playing with these. I hope you enjoyed seeing them, and um, we'll be back again soon with another video. Take care. Bye for now.